hello youtube welcome back to the channel so uh, in this video we're going to go ahead and simply learn how to adding uh, how to add a text uh text the score right we want to add the score to our screen in the form of text uh, textual image so to display the score on the screen because right now we're just displaying the score in here in the terminal so i want to go ahead and learn uh we'll go ahead and uh, learn how to go uh, ahead and add the score to the screen instead of it just incrementing in the terminal right here so that's what we're going to be go going ahead and do so i'm just exit out of this and then open up my vs code so i have my vs code open up so i'm just going to go up here scroll all the way up so to display a text in pygame the first thing you have to do we need to import we need to import the font that we want to use we set the font size that you want to use the font x position the font y position and then you write a function that is going to be uh, that's going to be called every time to display the the player's current score so let's go ahead and actually do that so i'm just going to keep it uh you can keep it right here if you want uh, anywhere you want let's just keep it uh here so i'm just going to go here and say uh let me just see i can just say uh create uh score uh fonts this we're going to go ahead and create the for uh, the the score font so we say pi game uh pygame underscore um pygame this is going to be pygame dot font uh dot um init just like that we need to initial initialize it once we have that created, i'm going to say font it's going to be equals to uh pygame dot uh font dot uh font with a capital f and then now we pass in the font that we want to use so i'm going to say uh free uh sample this is free some sun uh this is sun short uh sans bolt is called sans bolt uh, i hope that's the spelling of it if i remember clearly i think it's called free uh sans bold uh dot t t f dot so you can say dot uh t t f again if i get this wrong we can always just google uh, this online you can get a lot of fonts but mostly i think pygame has only one font which is this font but you can download and use other font types if you want i'm not going to go ahead and cover that how to download and use your own custom fonts in pygame but you know just know that you can do that in a uh, pygame you can download your own uh, fonts from google and then use those fonts in here okay so you can download the uh, font size and then specify the part to that font size in here that's all you have to do okay so when we say font uh exposition i'm going to say the font exposition is going to be 15. this is some experiment i did so that's how i know this value so in your case you can experiment and get your own values okay so that's i have the font uh the font data setup so i'm going to go the font uh the form uh sorry the font uh, data setup so now i'm going to go ahead and write the function and whenever this function is called its job is just to display the score so let me say display uh display underscore let me just call display underscore uh uh, score so it's going to be called display score and it's going to take in the x and the y which can be the x and the y we want to display the the score you're going to go ahead and say please say score underscore image uh, we're going to create an image basically and the image is going to be built onto the screen so we're going to create an image having the text that we want instead of the image having a transparent background you're going to bleed that onto uh, our our game screen okay so we're going to simply say uh, font dot uh, render and then simply go ahead and simply say um say we're going to pass in an f string here we say total uh, you can just write anything that you want to display this guys so total score i'm just going to say total score and then i'm going to go ahead and display it so i'm going to say uh, i'm going to use a, a string uh, a string thread so i'm going to say scr and i'm going to say uh, player score so player uh, player score and player score is a variable that we declared uh, later uh, above here uh, player score is a variable that we have, which keeps track of the player score and this is what you get displayed here. i want to display it on onto the, the game screen itself so uh, let me just scroll down here uh, i think i was uh, let me just see where i was uh here yeah so we get the now we get to create the image uh now we, we can specify whether to display it or not so we can say true and now we're going to specify the color of this image so we're going to be using an rgb color scheme so we can rgb color scheme rgb stands for let me just write it here so rgb so this is going to be uh rgb and it stands for uh red uh green and uh, blue so red green and blue images so we're going to have the red channel the green channel and the blue channel okay so they're going to combine so the, the maximum of an rgb an, an, an rgb color can start from zero to uh 255 i believe so zero to 255 so we can specify any now between for the start for this uh, with the red the red channel or the red uh, the red uh, channel basically and you can have a value between zero and 255 so you can also go online and just search for rgb color picker and then choose any color that you want okay so just go to google search for rgb color picker and you get a color to pick from so uh if all if all of this channel is zero zero means if the red channel is zero so if it will be zero comma zero comma zero 
comma zero means that the red is zero the blue is zero and then also the the, the finally the green is also uh, the blue is also zero so the red is zero the blue the green is zero and then the blue is also zero so this is a black completely black image a black colored text now i want to make it a white class so the max we go to maximum 255 uh by uh, 255 which is the maximum we can have for each channel by 255 this is going to make the completely white channel so 255 okay and I explained RGB color when we were talking about uh, the enemy, the the background of our game screen, and we talked about RGB color. So I'm not going to waste a lot of time on this. So now we have to have the image created. We're going to say screen dot bleach. We're going to uh, now add it to our screen. So we're going to simply say uh, score underscore image, and then we're going to specify the where to display. We're going to pass in the tuple, pass in X and Y. Okay. So that's basically what we need to do uh, for that to work. So once we have all that uh, uh, implemented, uh, now we can go ahead and simply. Uh, now call this function and pass in the x and the y coordinate we want to display it and it should go ahead and display the end uh, the, the 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 score on the screen for us so i'm just going to go ahead and simply call it right here so i'm going to go ahead and simply call it right here so i'm going to say uh display mm, display uh score and then i'm going to call it right here and pass in the the font x which you define above so font x and the font y because it's going to be in the same position on the screen so we are uh, we're going to use uh, font x and font y uh during every iteration of this uh while loop okay so once i have that now that's all done so let me just go ahead and run it and hopefully we don't have any error so you can see now the score is there so if i shoot down a player now you can see the score has incremented and all of that so if i go in here i can shoot down uh, another another alien another aircraft another alien aircraft and you can see our scores increment just like that so yeah that's basically it uh we can see we can shoot down those uh, enemy aircraft and our scores increase just like that so yeah yeah so that's basically it for this video i wanted us to go ahead and learn how to um basically just uh do the scoring of our of our of our, of our basically our alien crafts right should uh, displaying the score on the screen so that's basically it for this video so before we end this tutorial i would like to go ahead and actually, actually add a background image to our game because right now uh, it's just the background is just completely uh, black if i run the game again you just see it's completely black background so i want to go ahead and actually learn how to we'll go ahead and learn how to add a background to it so to add a background to the first thing we need to do is actually load the background image and then later we'll display the background image on our screen on every iteration of, of, of our world loop so uh, to load the background image, I can, I can just go here and I have a background image already downloaded. You can find the background image or you, from uh, any website that you want. I got my background image from uh, from uh, Pixel. So you can go to Pixel and just get it from Pixel. So this is going to be in my uh, my projects. And then I'm going to go ahead and simply get it from uh, Assets. And it's going to be this uh, background image. I'm going to simply gonna go ahead and copy it. And then simply, oh, let me just uh, move it in here. So move it in there. So great. So that's basically it. We have our background image all right there. So I can now go ahead and move the background image into our Assets folder. So move it in there. So great. So I want to go. Ahead, I can go ahead and just close it up. So let's go ahead and actually load the background image. And then we can display it. Okay. So I'm just going to go down here and say load uh, background. So background. Uh, background uh, image just like that so I'm going to say uh, background so background uh, underscore uh, background I'm going to say background underscore image is going to be equal to the phone so I'm going to say when say pygame game dot uh, image dot load uh, load and then we pass in the password in dot for slash assets for slash uh, we're going to call it uh, background we call it background dot uh, jpg it's a jpg image which is this right here so asset for slash uh, background dot jpg so that once you have the image already loaded uh, let me just delete one of these uh, equal signs so once you have the image already loaded you can go ahead and display the image so this we're going to display the image uh, as the background of our game in every iteration of our while loop so we have to go inside of our while loop and as i told you i learned to display anything constantly you have to use a while loop uh, you have to keep it inside of the while loop of our game which is the main the, the, main, the game um, uh, loop right so say bleed and i'm going to simply go ahead and simply say my background image uh, and then pass in the code which is going to be zero comma uh zero which is going to be filling the whole screen so zero comma zero right here so when we display the image right here so once we have that done uh, let's actually run the game again to see if that image uh, gets shown up so you can see now uh, our game Im uh, we have a background to our game right there so now you can see the game has now a background so yeah that's basically it what i wanted us to do uh, in this tutorial so we can now have a background uh, added to our game and it's dis been displayed on every iteration so if you move it if you move the the place where you're bleating this to the background 
if you move it outside of here means it's going to not show it's going only going to show once or something like that right so that you have to keep it instead of the main also it shows during every iteration of our main while loop so that's basically how you can add a background to our screen and let's actually run the game one more time there's something i wanted to check okay the score now looks perfectly good here yeah so uh that's what i wanted us to cover in this tutorial uh yeah i wanted us to add a background to it and then that was done so next we'll learn how to add sound to it and then we'll be complete and also we'll learn how to detect if whether enemy has died or not in some uh, something like that so yeah that's basically it and uh thanks for watching uh see you in the next one keep safe